Yeah, and we can't rebuild without that funding. So coming up at six o'clock, I'm actually going to continue this conversation with the commissioner to talk about what he's doing from Tallahassee all the way to D.C. to secure more of that funding. And also continuing our team coverage, we'll stay right here in Fort Myers mm -hmm. Beach as Fox Force Alexander Ron Hell has also taken a look at how some of the rebuilding and recovery will be here in this really key part that got hit six months ago today from Hurricane Ian. A lot of progress has been made in Fort Myers Beach, but there is still a long road ahead here at Times Square. You can kind of see some of the devastation that was left behind Hurricane Ian in this area. We have uh, some businesses that were wiped out. We also have the Fort Myers Beach Pier that was wiped out, but progress has been made in the last six months. I spoke to the Fort Myers Beach Mayor, Dan Allers. He says he's proud of the resiliency Fort Myers Beach has shown. Yeah, you know, at the beginning it was a little difficult because, you know, people go through different stages of, of grieving and, and it was it was a difficult time for everybody to get to that stage because not everybody gets to the stage where we're like, we're going to put our gloves and our boots on and get back to work. So I think everybody has kind of reached that, even though you still have some days where you're, you're like, you know, why me, why us? You, you still realize that the sooner you get to building and the sooner you get to helping other people, the sooner we'll get back to where we were. And here on the beach, you can see signs of normalcy with people enjoying a beach day at Fort Myers Beach, but there is still a long road ahead. Reporting in Fort Myers Beach, Alexandra Angel, Fox 4.